places I've been, they don't feel like forever. But each step I'm taking, it seems like I'm finding myself.
awful worse I know we'll have our disagreements Be fighting for no reason I wouldn't change it if I could Cause I know the first day that I met you I was never gonna let you let you slip away And I still remember feeling nervous Trying to find the words To get you here today Now you'll feel no rain, for each of you will be shelter to the other. Now you'll feel no cold, for each of you will be warm to the other. Now there will be no loneliness, for each of you will be a companion to the other. Now you are two bodies, but there is only one life before you. Go now to your dwelling place to enter into the days of your togetherness, and may your days be good and long upon the earth. The word of the Lord. To you in the silence, I will lift you from all your fears. You will hear my voice, I claim you as my choice. Be still and know I am near. Second reading a reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Love is always patient and kind. It is never jealous. Love is never boastful or conceited. It is never rude or selfish. It does not take offence and it is not resentful. Love takes no pleasure in other people's sins but delights in the truth. It is always ready to excuse, to trust, to hope and to endure whatever comes. There is nothing that love cannot face. There is no limit to its faith its hope and its endurance. Love does not come to an end. In a word, there are three things which last forever. Faith, hope and love. And the greatest is love. The word of the Lord. Denise and John, you are about to celebrate this sermon. Have you come here of your own free will and choice and without compulsion to marry each other? We heard of. Will you love and honour each other in marriage all the days of your life? We will. we will. And you have already been willing to accept Mary she, little Holly, and any other children that God may send you and bring them up in accordance with the law of Christ and his church. We are. We are. Denise and Sean, I invite you now to declare before God and his church your consent to become husband and wife. I, Sean, take Denise as my wife, for better or for worse, for richer or for poorer, in sickness 
and it helps all the days of our lives. Thank you, Sean. I, Denise, take you, Sean, as my husband, for better, for worse, for richer, for poorer, in sickness and in health, all the days of our lives. And each wear this ring as a faithful, as a symbol of our faithful love. In the name of yes, In the name of the Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Sean, wear this ring as a symbol of our faith, it, faithful love. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Happy to introduce you now to the new Mr. and Mrs. Sora McNeil. We thank you, Lord, and we praise you for bringing us to this happy day. You have given us to each other. Now together we have ourselves. We give ourselves to you. We ask you, Lord, make us one in our love. Keep us one in your peace. Protect our marriage. Bless our home. Make us gentle. Keep us faithful. And when life is over, unite us again. Where parting is no more. In the kingdom of your love. We're, there we will we praise, praise you, you in the, the happiness, happiness and, and peace of our, our eternal home. home. Amen. Amen. We pray for Sean and Denise that their life together will be filled with happiness, joy and laughter as they begin their journey through married life. May they always be loyal and true friends to each other and be able to cope with the challenges that life brings. Lord, hear us. Today we remember the smiles and laughter of all those who have gone before us who would have loved to share the joy and happiness of the day. We thank God for the happy memories they have left us with, and may God one day unite us again in the joys of our eternal home. Lord, hear us. We pray for a special gift for friendship for all Sean and Denise's friends. May they always cherish and bond of friendship in the years ahead. Lord, hear us. We pray for the families of Sean and Denise, whose love and support and inspiration has guided them throughout their lives and on their journey together. Lord, bless them and keep them in their care. Lord, hear us. We pray for those, I'm sorry, we pray for all the sick and all who are suffering in the world, thinking in a special way of Sean Clark. May the Lord be their comfort and strength through their difficult times. Lord, hear us. We pray for the gifts of life and good health, which we so often take for granted. May we always appreciate these gifts and may they bring us closer to God. May we have peace in our hearts today, hope in our hearts tomorrow, and love in our hearts forever. Lord, hear us. We pray for everyone who has travelled here today from near and far to share this special day. May the Lord reward them for their goodness and kindness and ensure they return home safely. Lord, hear us. We pray for all those who have helped Sean and Denise prepare for this happy day. May God give them for every storm a rainbow, for every tear a smile, for every care a promise and a blessing in each trial. For every problem life sends a faithful friend to share, for every sigh a sweet song and an answer to each prayer. Lord hear us. Oh 
every dream and wish are yours Mother of Christ, Mother of mine We send them to you, Lord Ave Maria Grazie a Palena What is a soulmate? If you have found a smile that is the sweetest one you've known, if you've heard within a voice the echoes of your own, if you've felt a touch that stirs the longing in your heart and still can feel that closeness in the moment you're apart, if you're filled with wonder at the way two lives can blend, to weave a perfect pattern that is seamless end to end, if you believe some things in life are simply meant to be, then you have found your soulmate, your heart's own destiny. If you can always be as close and happy as today, yet be secure enough to grow and change along the way. If you can keep for you alone your love as man and wife, yet find the time to share your joy with others in your life. If you can be as one and walk through marriage hand in hand, yet still support the goals and dreams that each of you have planned. If you can dare to always go your separate ways together, then all the wonder of today will stay with you forever. So the, the poem is named Holly. This is a special message to a very special two, to tell you both I love you and I know you love me too. You both were disappointed when you had to change your date your dead wedding day was cancelled, and twice you had to wait. But now you're here, and so am I, to see your special day. And here's my chance to tell you what I really want to say. I'm blessed to see you make your vows to live as man and wife, and finally have your happy day to start your married life. I hope that God will bless you both and make your hearts be glad Let's say a prayer for Denise and Sean, the greatest mom and dad.
I'd like to welcome Scruffy Duffy there, was saying you as the maddest crowd he has seen here in about six months. <laughs> he reckons you are full of potion. <laughs> Would that be right? <laughs> anyway, I'd like to start off by congratulating here Sean and Denise. They both done a fucking tremendous job today. Can we edit that out? <laughs> anyway. No, and the bridesmaids here too for keeping us uh, four or five plunkers in line all day. So, fair play to them too. Uh, so, look at I know Sean a right long time here. From where we were peddling tractors to our driving rail ones, about Emmy Vale one time. But I'd like to thank you for having me involved in this here. You and Denise, it's a privilege and an honour to be up here. And I'll probably speak for the rest of the boys when I'm saying that. So I'd like to. Maybe, uh, maybe we'd raise a bit of a toast here to the two of them when we are here. If I might scold me if I don't. Uh, I'm kind of just going to introduce you to everyone here, so I'm going to start off with the bride's dad, Henry. Who I want to say thank you to two, because he filled us full of goujons and cocktail sausages this morning. <laughs> and hot whiskies, but don't, don't tell anyone that. Four mass. <laughs> All right, Henry. Thanks. <laughs> Reverend Father, ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of the Sorhans, I'd like to welcome you all here today. On behalf of the Sorhan family, I'd like to welcome Sean into it. And I wish, I wish them long and a happy life together. And I'll see you all at the bar for a pint. And maybe now, Sean, and maybe now, Jim, a porker. Up the middle. Here, here. Thank you. Good morning, Henry. Uh, we're going to take you over to Lanaba here. You might know him too. A carja, Brian McNeil. A carja. On behalf of Laura and myself, I'd like to thank everybody for coming near and far. Isn't Denise looking great? I'd like to welcome Denise into the Wayne Brain family. Yeah. 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 Patrick, you might lose us. <laughs> <laughs> enjoy your dinner, have a plenty of drink, and enjoy the night. Okay. Yeah. Uh, good morning, Brain. Uh, I'd like to say thanks for the breakfast this morning. With about a couple of five Ks to be done next week to get that all burned off. And I think Ryan has a few words here to say. How are you all? So I'm not going to repeat what everyone else has already said, um, but I have a few, just a small message here for, for Denise and Sean. Um, it's best wishes for your special day. We're sorry we cannot be there. Enjoy the celebrations, and we look forward to celebrating with you when you return from, to New York. From Stephen, Caroline, and all the Moncon team. Good morning, Ryan. Fair play to you. There's another here, I think he's a kind of a sidekick of Sean's, to the American city. Yeah. David. <laughs> Thank you very much, Leo. Thank you, everybody, and you're all very welcome here. I'd like to say a few words, but uh, I'd like to start off by wishing Sean and Denise a long, long, happy life together. I know there was a lot of effort, more than Sean tells me, but a lot of planning put into this wonderful day. I'd like to tell you I was surprised as anyone when I got asked to be Greenspan for this special day, so I have to sit down and think about a, a, a few words, but uh, knowing Sean, and he knows me very well, so... I have to dig deep to get the right proper words, but I will say uh, 
I will say Sean and myself have been very, very good to each other through the years. And he's got me into quite a few handlings, but he's also got me out of quite a few handlings. <laughs> to be honest, uh, a lot more on my side than his. But uh, I also know a good, a good, in probably a mentor, I would say, in, in our life. There was a, a fellow called C.D. Watson that's also looking down on, on Sean here today, and, and he's very proud. Um, Sean helped. Or CD would have helped Sean in the, in the very early days in America and got him started on the road, and we all know that. But um, we all know something else about Sean, which is his, his, uh, his probably his second love after family and life, which would be uh, Ford New Holland um, <laughs> tractors. So I wasn't surprised when he, he told me that that was how we were getting here today. <laughs> So, uh, to be honest, thankfully he was joking, but um, to be honest, I would like to now thank both families, Bryce, Mitch, Sean's mother and father, and also Denise's mother and father on this special day. So please, everyone, raise your glasses and Cheers. wish them. Cheers. I'll probably now pass you back to Leo and he can go for that. Good man, David. Fair play to you. Well, I think we're coming on to the main man himself here, who's looking dapper. Huh? Show them pecs there, Sean. <laughs> Say a few words there. I will, surely. Thank you, everybody, for coming today. Um, like for ce celebrating this special day with us. I was warned I'm not allowed to talk about combi lifts and tractors, so <laughs> that cut my speech in half there, so it did. Uh, but I'll be at it again now tomorrow. Um, <laughs> I'd like to thank our guests who travelled near and far. We have people here from New York. Yeah! We have New Jersey. New Jersey. We have Ohio. We have California. We have Abu Dhabi. We have England and we have Kerry. We even have, yeah! we even have as far as Drum Kieran. <laughs> and Kerry <Jerry> Grove. <laughs> <We're all here. laughs> yeah. uh, thank Mary and our staff here at the Kilmore for this lovely venue and all the efforts helping Denise organise this wedding. <laughs> Yes, definitely Denise, but um, it looks great, yeah, well done Denise for that, um, thanks to Vanessa for the photos and Mario and Ronaldo for the great videos that they're making all day today, uh, catch her all the moments, <laughs> this guy's crazy. <laughs> um, <laughs> to the bridesmaids here to the left for helping Denise again along the way. Uh, Lisa for trying on 500 dresses <laughs> and organising the hen. <laughs> and and the, the hen party is had in, in uh, Mexico. Thanks a million for helping the piece. <laughs> uh, now to these lovely groomsmen beside me here. After a couple hours of soaking them in GS fluid and <laughs> Lynx Africa, we finally got the smell of silage off them. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for Davey for showing up today on time and all good. Thanks a million. <laughs> First man there the day, which is unusual. <laughs> but um, <laughs> I was I was lucky to have two stags, one in Texas. Thanks to Stephen McGuire for organising that. Uh, for a class weekend, we were a different breed of cowboys compared to what they were used to doing there, but we got out of it lucky enough. <laughs> and then on to the second one had with these men in, in Letterkenny. I'd like to thank Megan McCorn for organising most of that. <laughs> she done a great, great job there. Oh, I'm having a good rare this year. <laughs> That's right. There this morning. There's dilemmas with shirts and ties and dicky bows on. Halligan come to the rescue, iron all the shirts and the mistakes that were made. Thank you, Anne, for that. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, our little princess flower girl, Holly, yeah. for doing a great job today. 
everyone from Crown to Greece who looked lovely today, right? Um, big shout out to Jerome and Christine for helping look after Holly today. Thanks a million. <laughs> she seems to be very happy with us there all day. Right, to the parents, Henry. Yeah, boy. Oh. <laughs> Thanks for all the best paints, a Smithix and Leithrum. <laughs> Very nice. And Eileen. <laughs> and Eileen for all the massive feeds and spreads she always puts on. I just fit it into the suit today too, thank you. <laughs> all right. I'll make sure and look after Denise now and Holly for the rest of my life now. So thanks for all your help, guys. All right. and, uh, on to me, my own parents. I'd like to thank you all for everything you do, everything, everything ready at the house, all's good. And Daddy there, I'd actually like, you actually th have to thank me for being such a good landscaper. <laughs> I thought it was great crack as a kid, sowing fertilizer on the lawn, you know. <laughs> so after having to be mowed twice a day and redone every year, Mickey finally showed me how to spread it evenly, that we, could, that we didn't have to do that anymore, or plough it up again. <laughs> now to mommy. <laughs> now to mommy. A lot of people, especially the New York ones, know I have no uh, particular and OCD habits. <laughs> you can thank my mother for that. <laughs> That's where I got it from. But no, Ma, thanks for everything you do. Everything's great. 110% all the time. Um, so I'd like to thank the both sets of parents again there. Now, on to Denise. Yeah! My, my wife. <laughs> Seamus Clark usually says, my wife, right? <laughs> um, it only took us three attempts over three years for this day, but thank God it's finally came. So, and she looks very beautiful on the day. She has this dress three years, so she <laughs> looks fabulous. Um, what else am I going to say here? <laughs> I kind of lost. Scruffy Duff was telling me how to follow this. I've lost it now. <laughs> I think I have it here now. So, how we, how we met. Um, I, was, I was sitting in Eamon Fallon's Jeep on McLean Avenue. <laughs> he, gets, he gets this phone call from the the, the Sorahan sisters <laughs> looking for recommendations of an apartment. <laughs> Not knowing who they were, I said that Chris Yankee had a spare room. <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. I didn't know what way the thing was going to go. <laughs> um, I asked Fallon. What are they like? Sorry, <laughs> sister. She says, "Don't you worry about them. They'll not look at you anyway." <laughs> and he still owes me that money. Um, <laughs> our, our first date was in the Argonaut Diner on Central Avenue. How romantic! Uh, <laughs> I've upped my game since that. <laughs> And seven years later, we welcomed our Princess Holly into the world. And I can't thank you enough, Denise, for raising such a beautiful baby. And for being such a great mom. I really appreciate it. So, so we're finishing up here now. <laughs> On that note, I'd like everyone to raise their glass for the beautiful bride, Denise. Yeah! <laughs> I see everyone was starting to dance there already, so hopefully few more beers in us, we'll all be out with you. Uh, thanks a million for coming guys and see you on the dance floor. Good man Sean, well said. And I tell you what, the one we've all been waiting for. <laughs> the best man! I think you all a uh, darn Rock the roof! So we have Darren here, aka Spotowski. <laughs> Gonna say a few words. Go ahead, Spot. No much call for that, Alish. <coughs> <laughs> I want to start off by thanking each and every one of you for coming here today. 
and making sure that Denise's big day is so special, they both deserve it. And take a bit of a toast to the Sean and Denise. I suppose I better thank them for having me here today <laughs> and asking me to be the best man and finally accepting that I am the best man. <laughs> <laughs> I want to tell you one wee soft story <laughs> about Sean back a lot of years ago. The start of our football career, me, Sean, Leo, my cousin Kieran McCarn, Stephen Yankee, Chris Yankee, Shane, lack of us, flange the old day. <laughs> <coughs> Used to go to football in St. Balans. Me and Leo never got on to play. <laughs> so, back time brains with a tail between our legs. And Brian had asked, well, did you just get to play in the day? No. Not today, no fucking not today. <coughs> so then one day Leo says, Fuck this, I'm gonna ask you, Miss Holligan. Why are we never gonna get old to play? Seamus says back, he says, it's as simple as this, you are no fucking good. <coughs> So, after Barry McKenna's, we went to draw silage. <coughs> the odd wet evening would call up Dane Brains anyway to see what way the thing would get on. Brain would pick out of us. Jesus, boys, you should have stayed at the football. <coughs> Sean's. After being asked to play for the county. <laughs> Fuck Christ, that's Tara. <clears throat> <laughs> Wasn't it? Sean's 21st in MB Vale. Him and Ryan the Master had a giant 21st in MB Vale. We found out the real truth. <laughs> Sam Moffat rang me one day and he says, hey, Where's this party at? And I give him the directions anyway. I don't know fuck how or what happened, but he ended up in St. Mallon's anyway. <laughs> Up the stairs, the first man he met was Seamus Sherry and Jared Beckin. Sam says, is there a party here for Sean McMeal? They never fucking hear tell of him. <laughs> <coughs> Sam says... <laughs> Sam says, would he have a nickname? I think his nickname's Ain Brain. Seamus Sherry says, the only Ain Brain I know that could play football is Hell Ain Brain's Cub Barry. <laughs> So, Excuse Holly, <laughs> so I'll uh, finish off on saying, Holly, if you want to stay in the football career, you must stick with mommy, because daddy, daddy was no fucking good either. <laughs> so, everyone drink up and dance and enjoy the crack and have a good night. And that's it. Oh, 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 oh,
rebound with the big moves. Please give up, ladies and gentlemen.
that every long lost dream led me to where you are. Others who broke my heart, they were like northern stars, pointing me on my way into your loving arms. This much I know is true. That God bless the broken road that led me straight to you. Yes, it did. I think about the years I spent just passing through. I'd like to have the time I lost. You just smile and take my hand. You've been there, you understand. It's all part of a grander plan that is coming true. Every long lost dream led me to where you are. Others who broke my heart, they were like northern stars. Clock rock. Five, six, seven o'clock, eight o'clock rock. Nine, ten, eleven o'clock, twelve o'clock rock. We're gonna rock around the clock tonight. Put your flat bags up. Join me home. We'll have some fun when the clock strikes one. We're gonna rock around the clock tonight. We're gonna rock, rock, rock till broad daylight. We're gonna rock, we're gonna rock around the clock tonight. When the clock strikes two, three, and four. Seven, we'll be right in seventh heaven. We're gonna 